Summer. Summer is one of the best times of the year in the UK because it seems to be the only time we can actually wear shorts and not worry about getting frostbite. This summer has been a massive improvement over the previous two given that the COVID restrictions have eased, meaning that we can actually do stuff like, you know, go to festivals, go out with the boys, you know, all of that sort of stuff. But was it perfect? Well, that brings us to today's video where we look at the events that took place over my personal summer and then we will see if there is such thing as a perfect summer or if it's just a myth. So let's go. 21st of June was the first official day of summer, which means all the Pokemon related stuff that I filmed a couple of days before this uh, is basically useless for this video. Typical timing. But however, if you do want to see that, uh, check in the top right of the screen and you're more than welcome to see that. And then come back to this, of course. Get my watch time up, get the views up. You know how it is. Thank you. 25th of June is actually a pivotal point in my summer and that's because I caught COVID again and it also happens to be Matt's birthday so happy birthday mate. The 30th of June was a bit of an unexpected day to say the least. After the five days of isolation had ended the next logical thing to do was to jump right back into the fast lane. Specifically the fast lane of the A43 as on this particular day myself and Craig went to Silverstone to see the music sensation example. Um, if you don't know who he is I'll just show you what went down. Pinch punch, first day of the month, which meant it was time for Silverstone again. We actually managed to finesse a couple of grandstand seats too, which was really good uh, until it started raining. Luke Skywalker also made an appearance, so big rip for the Empire. The 2nd of July, my own fucking birthday. What well, better way to spend it than at Silverstone in the rain. But all jokes aside, all three Brits actually got into P3, and even Williams managed to clutch a Q3 position. So it was actually all worth it to sit in the rain. Not only that, I also went out to Oxford. Sadly though, I didn't get any pictures or videos because I was uh, drunk to say the least. Race day, baby. Anyway, by 8 a.m. everyone basically filled up, but there was literally two gaps waiting for me and my dad on the finishing line. So we were like, yeah, we'll have them. And then we had a mad view of the podium, you could see the cars finishing, it was glorious. The F3, F2 and Porsche Supercut happened. And then it was time for the big one. Well, after these, anyway. <laughs> the first lap starts and was all going well until it wasn't. Joe Guanyu starting in ninth place, the uh, red and white Alfa Romeo. Nicholas Latifi gets in between him and George Russell. Gasly backs out, there's the initial content. That's where the car then is upside down onto the gravel and then it flips and tries to right itself. And as it... This in turn led the race to be red flags, however no one was injured luckily and after some time the race resumed. After 52 laps of intense racing, Sainz earned his first F1 victory and my man Hamilton even got on the podium. They then opened the track and then after some adventuring around and obviously trying to steal a yellow flag, <laughs> uh, I went home and slept off my hangover. Truck Festival just appeared out of nowhere and it was a good job really because it, well it just was. Terribly sorry but I didn't really get too many clips of the festival because I was uh, rather drunk. Uh, we did however manage to see both Kasabian and Sam Fender. To be honest, the weekend was just straight vibes, you know what I'm saying, man? I mean, just look at this guy, he was just loving life. The 2nd of August was a significant day in the world of Derbs, as I finally secured the milestone of 100 subscribers. What a glorious day indeed. The 3rd of August marks the day that I actually embarked on an adventure on my own to London and saw all the sights that Westminster had to offer. 
course if you'd like to see that video from that trip uh, you best check the top right of the screen because you don't want to see it all again so at the early hours of the morning the local residents that lived around the area weren't awoken by cockerel but instead by a very drunk finley uh, just see for yourself <laughs> finley shout it no, don't fucking shout the fucking <laughs> <laughs> Why the fuck have you got a lad? I can't, I can't. <laughs> Look at this. Fuck. Right. Josh, one derbs is completely sober. Come on, Josh, make it. Fuck me. Just jump. Just jump. Mate, jump, are you tired? Yeah. Mate, it's a, it's a fucking log. Why don't we just move the log out of the way? No, you can't. No. Just get... Stop! <laughs> stop! <laughs> Fucking stop, lad. <laughs> Fucking move. <laughs> Josh. 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 Just fucking just jump. It so just jump. Just jump. <laughs> Jump into daddy's arms. <coughs> Bro, what do you mean nailed it? <laughs> Just a public announcement, he has behaved since his day. And if we can also get to a goal of 10 stupendous likes, I will bring out jump merch. The last day at college wasn't exactly one of the days I was looking forward to this year, but it actually turned out to be a pretty good one except where I got my ass handed to me by the teacher. I promise you, this is the last time I'm going to plug another one of my videos, but if you would like to, it's at the top right of the screen. Just go and see it, you might as well, there's only a couple more points left, but, but I know, just wait and then come back and then watch it. Thank you. I drew a penis. Well, that's it. The 19th of September, the last official day of summer, done and dusted. As much as I did enjoy the summer, I do feel like I could have done more stuff. As during this editing process, I've noticed there's a few days where I've got loads of stuff going on and there will be like a week or two of just nothing. And this is all down to planning. Planning is imperative for having a good summer because it maximises the efficiency of the time you're spending doing stuff and hence it reduces the time wasted doing stuff like scrolling social media all that bollocks. It's all very easy to say, but that's why we have winter 2022 to sort our planning techniques out and have the best summer in 2023. That being said guys, if you did enjoy, be sure to smash that thumbs up. If you're new around here, you may as well just give us a cheeky subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.